Oh yeah. <laughs> all right, so we got all this stuff chopped off the back. We're going to be trussing the axle for the upper links, straight links for the lowers, triangulated uppers, and then uh, some vent tube to connect the ends of the frame rails. We're, ju we're just gonna try and get as much done as we can today. It's around one o'clock, so we got plenty of time. Sun's setting about 8.30, so should be fine, but it's hot. So we're plugging away on this truggy. Hopefully we can then sell it and uh, help good buddy Juan get a Jeep. So if you're into truggies, we'll stop whenever you tell us. <laughs> uh, message in the comments below to make offers. She runs 4x4 works, all kinds of upgrades and uh, about to be four linked. Is almost done. Well, the four links almost done. Running out of gas on the welder. And it's the weekend, of course. Damn it. Anyway, we'll cut back. We'll have this truss installed. And uh, we'll start putting the uppers in. We'll just tack them in for the weekend. And then Monday we'll get some gas. And we can come back and blast everything in. And start hanging shocks and building the exoskeleton. Yeah. Yeah. Brake tabs on the back of the axle. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Man, that's some long ass links, but boy, she gonna articulate, as they say. <laughs> he said, <"Arr." laughs> You're the best friend I got. Arr. Are you sure we're right? You're not right. So, uh, oh my God. that's without chopping the frame rail and putting in a flat piece. We could easily take a uh, cutter and cut this little kick down in the frame, and we would gain, I don't know, probably another. 12 inches out here uh, vertical but this could also droop another probably 12 to 14 inches before that's going to do anything because that's at max but at max you can see we're talking about the tires above the water line yeah she flexy and uh there you go four link 101 butissimus Proud? 